Ladies and gentlemen, are you trying to get to level 15? It's actually really easy in Wuthering Ways. This is probably the easiest guide to follow. You have to play a little bit of the quest in the game to unlock something called a guidebook. Okay, this guidebook is so, so simple, okay? You'll be on the very first stage, and these are the stuff that you unlock. Basically, do the simplest of stuff, just follow this guide, do the level up one resonator to level 20, equip one three-star above weapon. This is all pretty standard. You'll be able to get this easy um, as soon as you, you know, get this book anyway, you'd be finished with that. And you continue on, there's another page, and another page, and then, yeah, you, you just keep going and you can get a lot of XP through this. Not only this, but there's also boss challenges that you can take and simulation challenges and weekly challenges. So I suggest that you guys also spend your wave plate in order for you guys to get a lot of XP, especially if you do boss battles. If you do um, like the crownless, like here, you get 450 XP and it's they're, they're kind of difficult in the very beginning of the game but um, once you kind of learn how they work it becomes way way easier and you also have a weekly challenge and then you have your daily right so here are the daily quests again I uh, wanted to show you guys what it actually looked like you know, just doing these and how you know how quick you could actually possibly do these so um, if you have, you know, some of the parts of the map unlocked, you can actually do this pretty quickly. So I have this part, so I can just fast travel. So I forgot to mention, while you're running around the open world and stuff, you can activate these things, which is teleport, you know, the teleport points. You also get some unit. And here is one of, one of the bigger boys. Skip, skip, skip. You unlock part of the map. And it gives you some XP. A lot of it too right and then there's like this, these little guy all of these little, little butterflies all of them all the way they lead you to this and you get some more unit xp this way so here we go we're just gonna start the spell again with the xp now we can go over here again guys 40 more xp i absorb an echo boom done absorb this boom done now we're at 80 get 80 boom 800 exp more of these and let's go all the way to 10. this is going to be pretty simple you know you can just upgrade your weapon or something like that for example um I'll upgrade this upgrade it by a little bit uh, by one level upgrade oh now level 31 and now i can and now claim this home 20 and look at that look at that amount of experience you get super easy experience and yeah um, you get enough activity points, you get, you know, to 100, you get a lot of experience. You guys can see, boom, 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 you get a ton of experience for completing this, and it resets every 24 hours. So keep that in mind. This is probably going to be the easiest way you guys can get experience. So make sure you guys do that. And you also have, all right, so probably the main point of experience that you guys are going to get is through quests. So your main quest or you know the, the hang long you know act quest whatever you're going to get a bunch of experience you guys can see here on the bottom you get 2000 experience from the hang long core quest and i'm sure the ones previously also give you a ton of experience as well companion quest you get 2000 as well exploration quest you get 400 so yeah if you just you know keep grinding these exploration these side quests all of these you guys can see they can some xp and in, in pretty quick fashion and it's really not that hard you just go to the map go to the area where you know it's, you know it selects the stuff for example the companion quest i have here boom 2000 easy experience and not to mention you can also get experience for exploring you know the world and stuff so i am here for example i'm just you know walking around trying to trying to find a chest you can see here there's like a little thing it's covered with red you want to just run over there and as soon as the enemies pop up, attack them because th that's usually how you, know, <laughs> you get your experience. And then once you go over here, you can click on Tidal Heritage. Boom, gives you Asteroid, gives you Union XP on the bottom as well. So that is a another way of collecting XP. So another way of you guys are going to be collecting XP is through chests. Okay, uh, this guy needs this guy needs to come. So um, so there are challenges that you, you usually have to do stuff like this. You kind of like break these. And then once you break them, you unlock a little thing. You unlock the little thing, go over here, you drop it, 
nine boom chest unlocks this is a standard supply chest the more older the supply chest looks the more xp you get for example the standard one this only gives nice you 20 one. experience the ones higher will give you more experience so this is going to be probably the most common way for you guys to be um getting experience while you know just running around the world obviously with the goal of you know getting experience and stuff you're going to want to collect you know you want this this is, this is basically why you want to be a little 15 guarantee a 10 pull here and some more asteroid whatever and of course this is probably how you get you know the rest of your xp and stuff but with level 15 you also unlock a new type of game mode called you know tower of diversity and you can unlock this character as well by his name so i apologize for that and then keep going you get level 17 so you can unlock some more um events and stuff like that so you guys can get more rewards so yeah that is pretty much all the easiest ways that you guys can get xp just mainly if you do the quest you'll be pretty much good to go you can do so many quests you can do so many side quests exploration quests just keep on like running around and you can find a lot of these it's really that simple and that's how you can collect asteroid as well at the same time so yeah that's pretty much it well, hopefully you guys got something out of it if you did like this video subscribe to the channel as well that'd be greatly appreciated let me know in the comments who is the character that you're using at the moment i'm currently using danjin i changed up okay i'm gonna have to like test him out a little bit more maybe i'll like him more in the future Cheated. i'll see you guys in the next video very soon Bye -bye.